Good morning, everybody. We're coming to you live. It's Friday, right here from inside the main build facility at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. I'm Tom. We all know the ladies' man, D. How you doing, Diesel? And the master, Bub. Best of the best today. How you doing today, Bub? Doing good so far, man. It is Friday. It has been a long week already. We have a lot of work that is getting done here at BEM. Everything from, as we always mention, the client rides to the celebrity rides to the SEMA builds to these small tire 405 right now. A lot of crazy work going on but i'll tell you what it is all top-notch stuff and we're having a lot of fun doing it we're doing a little bit of episode on this one bub this is the number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports daily live stream along with our number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports podcast saturday 9 to 10 a.m eastern standard time thank all of you for allowing us to be part of your lives this episode is brought to you by bubba's exotic motorsports that's bubba's exotic motorsports.com please visit our website for we have what over fifteen thousand parts uh for sale bub mid yeah. tire borla exhaust i mean everything right yeah super exciting man we've got uh, i mean all the new and latest and greatest in products and tech just a month and a half ago it is all already uploaded to our site in stock items ready to go and they are extreme pieces everything from direct fit bolt-ons to universal pieces of carbon from carbon creations to duraflex wide bodies to extreme dimensions to watson racing roll cages again direct fit whether it be 4.6 point road cages um, anything you can imagine, man, you can go on that site, place the orders, and get them within a couple days, if not overnighted. My, uh, th thank you, Bob. Very good. Miss Outlaw Boutique for the finest in boutique accessories and apparel. The moose is loose down in Abacoa, Florida. Very successful men's night last night. If you didn't get out there, it was wonderful. Six to nine, the girls Robin and Layla had the Miss Outlaw Boutique open late doing men's night with free gift wrapping and all of that great stuff. Monster Energy, Monster Energy is energy done Bubba style. The Palm Beach International Raceway, the new Palm Beach International Raceway out there, Bub. Yep. And finally, the Guinness World Record holding largest cars and coffee event held right here in South Florida, Bub. Exit 71 off the Beltway. Yep. How about that, Bub? Yeah, man, we've got a lot of exciting things going on. We, As everybody knows, I'm sure all around the world, it is Christmas time. It is December here in South Florida. It is already 80 degrees outside, so it's hard for us to get the feel of that because it's not so seasonal in Florida. You're not really dealing with, you know, climate changes and all that, although it does get super, super hot in the summertime like the rest of the world does, right? But I'll tell you what, man, it's outside, 80 degrees right now, absolutely beautiful. You can hear the Harleys passing by, the custom bikes, the custom cars. Everybody's out having fun right now, and I think we're going to the beach Christmas. I think we are. But speaking of Harleys, I would love to say hello to one of my very good friends, a business mentor and a father mentor. We all know who I'm speaking about, Bub. Paul Sr. Paul Sr. from Orange County Choppers. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say hello to both Paul and his beautiful wife, Joni. They are good friends. Paul Sr. has long been a uh, mentor of mine from a business perspective. He has long been a family uh, mentor of mine. Uh, as, as I've shared with everybody above, we've been doing entertainment and television for a lot of years, and you cannot believe what you see on television. I will say this, though, uh, in a very limited capacity, the new uh, Orange County Chopper show will be out in February. I will share with you that uh, Mikey and Junior are together with Dad once again. Whew, that gives me chills, man. Woo -hoo -hoo. And I don't think you were supposed to release that information. That's here. okay. No, people know that. There will be other former employees of Orange County Choppers on the inaugural show. You do not want to miss it on Discovery coming February, Bob. That's right, man. I'm looking forward to it. That was a show of a time made where a it was, uh, you know, it, it did, it made a difference. It wasn't a stupid, ignorant reality based or not so much reality, but they try to make it portray reality, right? But today's world of media is nothing more than quite honestly crap. And I've told directly You've to told producers, Jeff Burst, our producer, the straight thing. up, like, listen, it's crap. Like the fake stuff, the scripted stuff, the stuff that's not real, the stuff that does nothing for anyone at the end of the day, it's, that's pointless, right? To me, 
I would want to sit down whether it was like I was out at an event or maybe we were out to dinner, maybe whatever it was you were doing when American Chopper was on, you didn't do anything other than make sure you were at home on your couch to watch that series. That's how important it was. It Everything was. from the fun to, of it to the creativity of it yes. to yes. watching the guys at OCC design and build these things from Paul Jr. putting these renderings together, coming up with stuff. And you know what? It was like true hands-on. You would talk about what you were doing. Billy Lane did it a lot when he had the biker build-offs and Chopper's Inc. going. All of that crazy stuff was amazing because you could learn something from every episode you got to see where it wasn't just fake. It wasn't fake nonsense crap where you learned nothing from it and there was like a before, a middle, and then an after and it was done. You actually get to see the steps. It's funny too, Bub, because just as uh, I have always been very vocal about Senior uh, being not only a very good friend, but also a mentor to me as a father and as a, uh, as a business partner, I don't think any... Uh, one single person in the world has been as good a mentor to me as he has. Your mentor was actually your very close friend, Mr. Billy Lane. That's right. He uh, And you and he are together all the time breaking things just like uh, uh, we do. But we got a lot of people from around the world. We do have about 22 million people annually that watch what we do. Good morning to Mark Hoffman, the BEM number 12 dirt track driver up there in Maryland. He would like you to please, Bub, mail him some Florida weather. Hey man, we could definitely try to send some love all across the world, but I'll tell you what, it is beautiful outside right now. This week was actually fairly cold. It was literally starting last Saturday, just five days ago, six days ago, it was getting down into going into like the early parts of the following morning. So Saturday rolling past midnight, going into Sunday morning, it was literally getting into like the 40s, which here is super, super freezing. I know James had some snow on the roofs on the west coast of he Florida. Did. Yes, he Crazy, did. Crazy, dude. Yes. Crazy, right? So, so much stuff going on. But I'll tell you what, man, the weather is already peaking itself back up. It's almost 80 degrees outside already this morning. It's like 11. So we are looking forward to it. We've got a huge event tomorrow that we are doing. Last night's event was great at Miss Outlaw Boutique. We had a lot of fun doing that, man. Yes. A lot of great players came out. A lot of great fans and supporters came out. Um, MOB just rocked it over there, man. So we had a really fun time, and we're just looking forward to the weekend. Good morning, Candace Watkins. She says good morning to the boys. Good morning to Brian Luftwaffer. Good morning, beautiful people. Uh, James, uh, that's going in my, uh, let's and this Fox body. Ron Giboney, ladies and gentlemen, you know Ron Giboney from the former uh, Street Isles 405 show. Uh, by the way, Senior is having some things done uh, and with the uh, um, current Street Outlaw crew, as you we are doing something with the former 405 yeah. uh, Street Outlaw crew. Some of the, those cars are sitting right off set here. Uh, with the White Rhino uh, and play Silverado Bub on. It says, look at that speaker. Is that a JLW7? Uh, looks like a JL1000 and a 13W7 sub. James is a have had a lot of people us dicking around playing, doing, doing our podcast I will tell you what we have never ever ever had a single person guess every item on point so James 13 w7 yes v2 series 1001 yes so James literally guessed every component sitting here and he can't even see the product numbers every one of those pieces is dead on and Bob, that's pretty solid things, right there one of the things that sets you apart from anybody else in the industry today Jody Foose I'm not saying anything bad about chip we love you too is you not only build your custom enclosures, you can build a car from the ground up, suspension, engine, interior, it doesn't matter what it is, you can do it. He wants to get down. Uh, uh, this particular setup, Bob, this particular setup right here is for one of the Miami Marlins, whose name yeah. I will not disclose. I already did, I put it on the title. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, so it belongs to Derek Dietrich. Uh, Derek Dietrich is number 32. You also did Willie Young, the All-Pro uh, defensive end mm -hmm. for the Chicago Bears. He'll yep. be here in a couple days as well. Here we have Bob. You can't see it, but you're going to do the double D kind of overlapping each other here yeah. with his number 32 over here. This project started yesterday. You move very quickly through these projects. Let's talk a little bit about, Bob. I want to talk not only about the quality of what you build, but how about the quality of the wiring that you do as well. So listen, man, as, as you can see, and I think James already knew a little bit of what was going on here clearly he's done this stuff before so I'll tell you what when you are working with uh, high end quality audio systems me personally <laughs> personal opinion and from a professional standpoint to all our clients out there all of our fans JL audio is top-notch that some people you know agree some disagree some say there's other companies that are better 
This is always my go-to. I feel like they are a very solid, reputable company. They're just south of us in Miramar, Florida, so really close for us to get all the product. We are an installer and builder for them, so I'll tell you what, man, we're getting this stuff installed into Double D's Jeep. This thing literally comes with warnings. You can be an insane hit damaging to your own hearing. And I know, Bob, one of the things you've done is you're going to have a fluorescent uh, illuminated uh, double D sign that goes right here yeah, as well. Yeah, we've got a, uh, there's a CNC water jet kit that actually, an, another company actually built it, right? So we are going to transfer it. It was from his last subwoofer box that had, uh, he's rocking a set of kickers, two 12-inch kickers in it, very small, shallow mount. The box is literally a quarter of this size, but he does have this one CNC cut billet aluminum ring that goes all the way around the top, almost like a really nice long tapered oval, but it has his quote, which is let it fly. So it's let got it fly. That. That's what he signs on the balls as right. well. It's got it scripted into it, all water cut. And then the back of it is all a, like a, almost like a brushed wood grain sort of look to it. So what we are going to do is transfer that one piece over, which is why you see the sub is on the lower portion of this box. And this is a very large it's box, true. right? A lot more than what you need in terms of cubic feet for this sub, right? So if you look at the inside of this box, that's actually the sub box that's on the inside of it, which is dead on set and precise for the W713. That is the exact sizing that you needed to run this thing. We still need to clean it, seal it, wipe it all down. Then we're gonna go ahead and finish all the trimming off and do side panels, top panel, flush mount the amp in the top, wrap this in leather with a, a white top stitch so it matches the upholstery in the Jeep, so it's gonna look super fly. But the reason we do have such a long top on this thing is because we do need to put the Let It Fly emblem on it, which is seven inches tall. Oh, I see the markings here, sure. By 41 inches long. So it is literally gonna go from the edge of this box, this is 43, so we're gonna have about an inch on each side, inch from the top, inch from the top ring of the sub. And that oval ring is gonna sit right in there. That was the purpose of it. But then we are gonna have 32 raised over here and double D raised over here, the way he has them on his jerseys. The design intent then, Bub, would be, would that be for the amp to sit up here? in the box? Or yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is actually, I haven't even gotten to it yet, so I actually have a top piece of wood over oh, there. Do? Yes. That's going to seal in the top flush, and then we have two side panels. The main portion of the subwoofer box, the part that matters, that creates the volume that makes this subwoofer function at optimal, that is all done and sealed for the exact sizing of what JL recommends for the sub. That's done. The rest is really all just open, free, wasted space, really because of this top emblem that D really wants in there. So we're going to make sure that this goes in, but then we are going to do the raised lettering here, raised on this side. Then I'm thinking about doing on my top panel, cutting out that rectangle for the amp itself from JL Audio. So this amp would sit flush and not just be something that somebody screwed onto the top. You see all the wiring on. We'll do flush mount with it, and then you won't see any wiring. It'll be all leather wrapped going into the edging of it. It's going to be gorgeous. Bub, got some stuff. James says uh, we're going to be down there tonight for PBI, the new Palm Beach International Raceway for the new 561405 show tomorrow. Speaking of which, I'm talking to our producer, Chet Burke, today about that. See you guys tonight. Uh, those hit like an Iraqi L uh, IED. Yes. <laughs> okay. hey, I need to screenshot that one and send that over to Double D because he, James, he's he has watching. never heard. So he, like I mentioned, he's got a set of twin shallow mount kicker CVs. So these things are like maybe three inches deep. They're really small, meant to really go under seats. They punch pretty solid for what they are. Keep in mind, they are cheap subs. They're $150 subs. They're pretty cheap compared to a $1,500 sub, right? So big, big difference there. They hit pretty good. They're nice, solid subs. But I'll tell you what, he thinks it's loud. James, he has no idea what this one W7 is going to oh, do because this is not, like I mentioned, that 1,000-watt sub that you find at Walmart or Best Buy no. for 100 200 bucks. The magnets are thing is huge, animals. Though. Okay, so this sub weighs in at 87 pounds. Just so Be careful. Like, seriously, it is a heavy sub. This thing is no joke. To try to lift this sub up is it's muscle. And this you're is a powerhouse not, lifter. I mean, there, there's no chance this thing's heavy. It is. Uh, Nick, the official Nick is the exact uh, the official driver and transport company. High Ho Silver Trucking is the official transport company of Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. Yep. Nick's out there moving the cars around for us. Good morning, Nick. He's he says good morning, Phil is driving through uh, Michigan and Ohio. Good. Wait, so timing. if he's driving, then how is he watching this? Oh, Jesus. He's, he's just that good. Mark Hoffman says, well, I'm in uh, St. Louis for the second annual uh, getaway. Lewis is spelled L-O-U-I-S, ladies and gentlemen, without the E. Getaway uh, Dirt Nationals indoor uh, at the St. Louis Rams Stadium. We bought, uh, if you see any Rams, run them over. We bought our uh, dirt, what here, Bob? 
uh, and uh, time trial 12 to go, right? Uh, so in other words, the Bubs Exotic Motorsports number 12 car is out there racing uh, this weekend. James says, no, uh, this one uh, going to be big. I can't read it because it's kind of a mess. Say that again, four gauge wiring from the sub. B to the double zero uh, to the app. James is, uh, okay, so see, James, so, I feel like you may have had some knowledge there for a minute. Now I feel like you went to jail audio real quick, and you're like, .com. Let me find out what this thing's supposed to so be. So explain that. P James is saying four <laughs> gauge. Uh, what's he saying? Four gauge right, what, so, Mr. Producer? Read, so that, right, read, read that to us. Right. They're having a whole conversation about subwoofers and what's in their cars. I'm not writing all this out because they're typing that. They're typing yeah, the it's from people from around the world talking audio. No, it's literally James and Brian. Is it really? They're so, having paragraph long so yes, that is right. So James is mentioning the size of the wiring. So this is all that great stuff that you do get into. Let me tell you, it's not just about your sub. It's not just about your amp. It is about making those hand in hand so that they operate efficiently That's one thing you're and effectively. About. JL Audio does a killer job at telling you all of those specs. So when you go to their website, if you pull up, say you have an interest in a W7, they have the W3s, W2s, W1s, they have all different model line, all different price scales and different fitments, sizes, whatever it is you're trying to build. W7 is the Mac Daddy. So if you go out there and you pull this sub up, there will be an entire, I think it was 16 pages. I just read it all. So it was 16 pages of specs that come with this sub that tell you not only the size of your enclosure, both on a sealed, this would be a sealed enclosure, or a ported enclosure, something that typically has a rectangular slot on the side of it. It would be a vented, a ported enclosure. All of those, they have different sizes of the box. They also have different rating on how to get the wiring on this thing. This is a DVC, which is a dual voice coil. So as you can see, this thing actually does have two sets of inputs for a power and ground, right? So you see you've got a power ground here, and you also have a power and ground on this side. So you actually have to run these in a series using 12-gauge wire, which is going to be from your positive on one side to negative of the other side in order for this sub to operate at 1.5 ohms each, which is going to be three total coming off of this amp. That's going to make this thing operate at its most efficient sound, which is going to literally be like an IED, like James said, right? James, do you, how, how do you feel about that, James? You're sitting out there typing it off the website. Bub's rehearsing it to you right at the top. Oh, wait, of so I got to keep going. Hold on. So <laughs> that was just getting started. That was my warm-up. So listen here. So like James was mentioning, though, when you go with this amp, for example, it's not just about your amp. It's not about your sub. You've got to make sure everything's hand-in-hand. -hand. Which is what this you do. This won't work unless it is being fed by something properly here. This won't work unless it is being too fed by something properly, which is also that four gauge wiring you were talking about. So you want to run straight four gauge to any of these thousand how watt big, amps. Can you give us an example of four gauge and how does gauging work? What is, what is eight gauge bigger or smaller so, than four? Four gauge, so in, when you're speaking in terms of audio wiring, this is a four gauge. So four gauge is, I don't know, just over three eighths in diameter. Then you can go down from there. You can go to zero, you can go to double zero. So you can go to whatever it is you want to run in terms of wiring as long as you know what it is you're working with, right? So if you are going to run one of these amps straight from JL's site, they do recommend running a four gauge wire straight from your battery all the way back, four gauge into one amp. If you are going to run more than one amp, you, you know, say you've got a set of components, you're trying to run your mids, your highs, typically you're gonna want, run a, want to run a second amp when you're working with this because this is gonna well overpower a lot of base model mids and highs in cars. You're gonna to need to make sure you've got matching tweeters, door speakers, everything like that. So when you are working with multiple amps, you're gonna run a zero all the way back to a splitter, and then you can branch off and go to four as well. The input size on the amp itself is four gauge. Right on, Bob. So I can't use a smaller gauge, something like this. Let me give a comparison to the audience. Big difference. And that's actually a pretty fat gauge too, right? That's a 12 gauge. And in wiring, it's not like you're working with other things out there in terms of gauging. So this, your wire on your right hand, which is everybody's left, so that is actually a four gauge wire. The lower you drop down, if you went down to a two gauge, the wire gets thicker, going to a zero, it gets even bigger, going up, going to a 12 gauge, it's smaller, 18 gauge, even smaller than that. But let's talk about what these are and what you use these for. So I use those for nipple piercing. Nipple piercing is what we use these for. Yeah. Uh, no, those are my wire strippers. Wire they're, strippers. The nipple piercers are really close looking to that, though, I'm telling you. And the way wire strippers work, you'll see there's a set of teeth in here, ladies and gentlemen. All you do is simply insert the wire, pull, and it will strip away the piece of insulated, <coughs> uh, the insulation that's on there, and expose the copper that conducts the electricity or the sound. Bub, one of, a couple of the other things you've got here, Bub, what do we have right here? I don't know. Let me see it real quick. I don't know what this is. 
All right, so this is actually that distribution block, right? So check it out. This is going to go from, and this is true, from JL Audio. So just that block alone is probably a $50 block. When you're working with JL Audio components, these are very top quality components, very expensive. You go to Walmart, go to Best Buy, you're going to find the same thing for maybe 8 bucks, pretty cheap. But it is all about that quality, especially when you're working with power transfer. You want to make sure it's very well insulated. This will take you, like James was saying, from that zero gauge down to a four gauge if you want to run more than one amp. But what do we have here? This says three eighths inch by six foot flex tubing. All right, so check it out. So this is just that final icing on the cake. So you've got your wiring done, you've got your four gauge in, you've got your RCAs, your remote turn on, you've got everything run, it's all plumbed, it's all done, it's all mounted. Now you want to make it look nice and clean in factory. We already talked about the fact that I'm going to flush mount this amp in the top. You won't see wires in the box, you won't see them at the amp but you will see them where they feed up to that amp from the carpet of the vehicle. So we are going to just do a nice plastic looming on that just to wrap it so it looks like a nice factory piece. Mark Hoffman says, Nick needs to message, let's message what? Nick, need, oh, uh, Nick, the, okay. So Nick, uh, Nick is the official transport company. Hi Ho Silver is the official transport company of Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. Nick is the driver, so that's how right. we're identifying it. Uh, he said. He said the reason he can watch us and uh, drive at the same time as professional driver. Uh, we don't want to let anybody know that he just wound up in a snowbank, ladies and gentlemen. Brian uh, Luftwaffe said, "Why not a labyrinth box design, Bub?" So back to what we. Okay. Mentioned. So is there a, is there such thing as a labyrinth box? So you can build any freaking box you want to build, right? You can. Are build... you familiar with a labyrinth box? Yes. What so, is a labyrinth box for the audience? Well, there's all different kinds of styles and designs in terms of the box, the shape, the structure, the way you're building them, the way that they taper, the way that they sound in, the way that they insulate. Everything about these boxes is different. Again, this design was as plain as this thing does look. There's a lot thought into it in terms of the fact that we have not only the box size built, but all really for that main faceplate that Derek once installed. That's really the only reason we went with this style design. Okay, so does the labyrinth design make that big a difference in the audio sound? Um, not really, no. When you're, it can, it makes not only a difference in sound, difference in also in style, but also the fact that this box is built specifically to what JL wants done for this speaker. Shannon says, well, Doug, show me what you're working with, LOL. I'm not going to get into the middle of that conversation. I'm not quite sure what she's referring to. I'm not either, I don't know if she's talking about the size of the wire, the amplifier, the subwoofer, the box. Bob, do you remember a great episode done with OCC? They did uh, an episode with Dixie Chopper. I do remember that. Dixie Chopper's right there. I know that. I they're on our street. around out here. Yeah, they're on our Isn't street. Isn't that crazy, Bob? Yeah. Neat stuff. So this thing is literally going to thump. There is potential for probably popping the back glass out of the back of this Jeep JK. That Why not? He knocked into. the You know what he did? He knocked the back glass out of your Jeep with a baseball bat. This is true. But one of the other great things, too, and I didn't even get to this, right? So it was on top of here. So when you do your research, right, which James already knows because he's out there on JL Audio's website now trying to read more yes. and type really fast. So this is from JL Audio directly. This is literally a spec sheet, again, about how to match the sub to the amp. So let me tell you, if you do that process exactly the way that these guys who are tested and tuned, they guarantee it right out of the gate. They literally send you a full side shot, which is what everyone can see here, of the amplifier, highlight everything, in certain colors and specifics and tell you exactly how to set this amp to power this sub at its most optimum and efficient for any kind of music you're trying to use. That is tuned, it's set, it's out of the gate. They've taken the time, they've done the research, so you don't even have to spend an additional hour with tuning CDs and going through and getting all of your settings set dead on right. It's already done for you out of the gate. And that's one thing about you, Bub. You have a tremendous amount. You'll, you'll forget in 30 minutes what most of us will know in a lifetime. Right. You're tremendously researched, and God has given you a very special gift to be able to do all of the things you've done and to build an empire like this. Yep. Have a lot of fun Pretty with it. amazing, man. So I got to get back on this thing. I got a lot of wrapping to do here. I've got a lot of modifying, trimming, cutting. Still need to do a lot of rolling. I haven't even discussed my ball sack yet for the day, which is super strange. So we'll get to that, but I'll tell you what, man. Ladies the and gentlemen, the ball some... sack is coming on Monday. What do you mean it's coming on Monday? Because I saw it. Wait. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, the ball sack has arrived from one of our producers. It sits right here in the Nitto, who is one of, uh, Nitto Tire USA is one of the sponsors of our shows. This is, ladies and gentlemen, the official ball sack you hear. You hear Bubba referring to, and why do we consider it a ball sack? See, you guys' mind, your mind was in the gutter. That's not where it should have been. This ball sack, actually, ladies and gentlemen, the leather smells great in here, Bubba. Yummy. This ball sack actually contains official 
Major League Baseballs, Major League Baseballs, Rawlings, that have been used and hit by such celebrity players as Lucky Dent, Derek Dietrich, Carl Pavano, and many, many, many other. That's what the real ball sack is all about. Brother. That's it. Nothing more than a ball sack. It's, it's neat to feel the covers of these. I honestly don't know what everybody was commenting on because there were a lot of people out there that have been commenting over the past few weeks as we've continued to mention ball sack and shaft. They have no idea. So one was strange and the other one was a ball sack full of Rawlings balls. And our official Nitto USA swag bags that we give out at the events we attend. That's it. Till tomorrow, Bob. I think we have a question from our oh, producer. From, uh, yes, sir. Oh, he had a larger ball sack? Larger ball sack. It must have been he the one in his Jeep. a huge ball sack. Uh, from James, uh, Bubba, do a demo when it's done, I bet. Yes, we, James, we'll definitely do the a hard, demo You know this. what the hard, so let me tell you guys seriously what the hard part is about doing demos with these audio systems is no matter what your audio, audio You'll never quality hear. is, you never hear what that true depth comes to because not many audio and decibel systems can even take in what these things are putting out in terms of that volume and that deep bull that you yeah, hear. It's crazy. So but yes, we, definitely we will, will do a YouTube video of it. We will put it together for you guys. Rob will do some crazy stuff and we'll get it out there for you guys to see it. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow above, the number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports podcast done right here from the broadcast facilities at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports will air from 9 to 10 a.m. Yep. We'll be taking questions. Paul Sr. may join us. I'll ask him and his lovely wife if they'd like to call in. The 405 crew from the former Street Outlaw series, the Small Tire Boys, will be with us as well, Bub. All right. Be, uh, and you can call in and speak to them as well, Bub. I got to go. Until tomorrow, Bub. Just keep on doing it, Bubba style. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode has been brought to you by the amazing ladies man right here. Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. For the very best parts, accessories, clothing, all of it, Bubba's Exotic Motorsports, 15, 19,000 items, American Racing, Nitto Tire, Borley Exhaust, Extreme Dimensions. <laughs> it's all out there, ladies and gentlemen. And you can see the ladies, man. He certainly likes to play as well. Miss Outlaw Boutique, for the finest in boutique fashions, apparel, and accessories, it is Miss Outlaw Boutique, 561 660 6695, 1200 Town Center Drive, Suite 108. And the girls ain't hard on the eyes either, ladies and gentlemen. Man, if you know what I'm saying. Um, James will be down here with this bub, who is one of our LLC partnerships in the new television show, Pro, uh, Process. He says, what's up, John? Uh, let's see. So I guess, oh, John Andrade Sr., who drives the Red Dragon car from the former 405 Street Outlaw series, uh, says, what's up, guys? Good morning, John. Thank you, and welcome to the family. Um, and John Andrade Sr. has got something to see. These guys... Uh, uh, are, are hitting us left and right. Ladies and gentlemen, Palm Beach International Raceway, the new Palm Beach International Raceway, where you're going to see the 405 boys out there racing. You're going to see us out there tearing it up as well. We'll be taking, we'll be, you know us, we destroy everything. I mean, it just, it's just the way it goes. Monster Energy, Monster Energy is energy done Bubba style. Thank you to all of our wonderful sponsors, man. It just doesn't have to be what you see right here. Watson Racing, Steeda Auto Sports, Turbonetics Turbos. Bubba will be building twin turbo cars for the new 405 Outlaw cars. It's going to be absolutely crazy. John Andrade Sr. taking an LS apart to make it boost ready for a customer. If you guys haven't seen, Bub uh, is not only a very, an amazingly strong engine builder, but so are the Andrade's three generations of them out there on the track. Cedar Auto Sports, Painless Performance, all the good guys, man. Thank you so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the holidays, but it doesn't have to be the holidays for you to reach out and touch somebody's life in a very positive way. Just like I found a mentor to look up to, Paul Sr., Bub found Billy Lane. Find somebody you look up to. Always put people in your lives that will help you reach for bigger things, not smaller things, or act like concrete around your feet and not allow you to progress mentally, physically, or emotionally. Stay positive today, ladies and gentlemen, and make sure you reach out to touch somebody's life in a positive manner. Thank you very much, Mr. Producer. Let's open the door for somebody who's got packages in their hands, or better yet, a military veteran, or somebody who's just old and needs a little bit of help. Let's shoe somebody that may have holes in the bottom of their shoes. Pay less is cheap. I'll bet you got a pair in your trunk that you just randomly throw around getting on and off the boats, just walking around the stores. What? Well, give them a pair of shoes, man. It's not hard. And if somebody's hungry, especially while it's cold right now and we're going into the winter time, make sure you feed them, ladies and gentlemen. Sit, go, 7-Eleven. It's not that $5 uh, coffee that you get from Starbucks. 
give it to them instead. Good morning to John Andrade Sr., owner, driver of the Red Dragon, and his sons, uh, Jace and Junior. You know them from the 405 former Street Outlaw show. They are good guys with Yeti and all of those great cars right there. Uh, Sadok Chalam, uh, let, me, let me pronounce that right. So don't, so drunk, I get it, I got it. So drunk, try them. Candace Williams, Stacy Horgan, good morning. Matt Dixon, uh, Walter, let's see, Tizina. Ty, I'm trying, Walter. Walter Tizina, we love you, man. I'm sorry if I didn't get it right. Uh, Dean Doglietto, John Newstead, thank everybody out there from around the world for letting us into your hearts, minds, and into your living rooms, ladies and gentlemen. Also, let's make sure we give thanks for the animals that we've been entrusted to. They love us, they need us, and they bring an awful lot of happiness. Don't you, Burr? Burr brings so much happiness into us, he's even tattooed on my arm. Tomorrow morning, ladies and gentlemen, do not miss the wonderful personalities of the former Street Outlaw 405 boys. It's a lot of fun when they're in-house with us. D, you getting hungry? It's time for lunch, little man. I can see you're ready to say something. Go ahead and say it for the world to hear. You hungry? You getting ready? Is it time, little man? I, you got that look like you're going to say it. You getting hungry, baby? 9 to 10 Eastern Standard Time here at the Bubba's Motorsports Facebook page or on Blog Talk Radio. Push through iTunes, Spreacher, Podbean, all of the good places like that. Call in 51, let's see, 714-242-5166, 714-242-5166. Until tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep on doing it Bubba style. Little man, you ready to eat? You want to go eat? Huh? You want to go eat something to eat? Come on, man. You want to go eat something to eat? You want to put this bag of balls? Thank <laughs> you.